Okay, the breakfast of champion. Three chicken breasts, plain, dynamite in the oven. Uh, um, about a cup, maybe a little more than a cup of white rice. So maybe a, I probably have about um, 50 grams of carbs right now. Protein, about, um, I'd say 105 grams of protein. And fats, I have a total of about, um, about 15 grams, 15 grams of fat. So that's the balance right there. You have protein, carbohydrates, and fat. This is avocados, just, you know, smushed up. Also gives it flavor. And uh, I add a little bit of a uh, paste picante uh, uh, salsa just to give it a little bit of flavor. Now, it's still 10 days out, so I'm still, still got my sodium in. I'm actually eliminating it, you know, little by little by little by little each day. I keep taking it down a little more. By, by Monday, right now, my sodium is about 2,000 milligrams. By Monday, I'll figure it'll be right around maybe 1,800, and then by Wednesday, I'll probably be at about um, 500 because it's it's actually near impossible to eliminate your sodium totally because even chicken, the fresh chicken, still has some sodium. Steak still has some sodium, but that's all natural. So you know, <sighs> it's my first meal and I'm starving, so I'm gonna get to it. Big truck. Ah, uh, for a big man. <laughs> well, this is it. It's, um... This is my little gym, strictly for personal training, you know. Uh, it's 2,000 square feet, has like about 28, 28 pieces of equipment, you know. This is more geared towards this neighborhood that I live in, you know. Uh, Laguna de Gal, uh, most of the people around here are middle class, upper middle class people who, uh, they, they have the money and they can afford something like this or someone who don't want to go to, you know, a big gym with a lot of crowd or they just don't know what to do. So they come here. I've been open, what, two months now? We got about um, 35, 35, 40 clients. This is my office. Uh, you can tell I like it. I like everything dark. <laughs> you know, the chair, the desk, the computer. Everything, the phone, you know. So, this is where I spend most of my days these days in this little office, you know, just trying to make a buck. <laughs> um, 12 workout will, will cost you $780, and um, that only lasts for one month. A 20 pack, which is 20 workouts, is 1100 and that would last you um, anywhere from uh, five to six weeks. So after that period, you need to renew it again. We're here. Now I have my own little business. It's mine, you know. All my equipment is paid for, you know. So bodybuilding is something that I, you know, I enjoy doing it. I love what I do, but, you know, God forbid something happens tomorrow. You know, I don't need bodybuilding anymore. <laughs> if you give me a contract and say, here, sign this, I can read it, look it over, and if it's not what I want, I can say, no, here, take your contract and shove it, you know, because I don't need it. I have my own thing now, you know, and um, I think that's what most guys in the business should, should strive for, is to have 
their own little business. I mean, you, you know, you may never be a millionaire, or you may never make a million, but you have something that is yours, and no one can take it away. You don't have to worry about, um, if I don't place in the top 10 of Mr. Olympia, you know, um, they're gonna take my business away. No, six, top five, three, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is still gonna be here for me, you know? So um, that makes me so much more relaxed going into this year's Mr. Olympia, you know? Um, that pressure is off, where, you know, you constantly have that pressure of, you know, always have to prove yourself. It doesn't matter how well you did last year or the year before. They judge, judge you by how well you do in the last contest, you know? And that means the Mr. Olympia. You know, I mean, they don't realize that everyone, everyone is, is entitled to an off day. But in, in, our, in, our, in our business, if you have an off day, you know, either they, they cut your contract down or they cut it completely, you know. After this, gotta finish up with some hyperextension for my lousy back. Hey, nobody's perfect, okay? Uh, then, yes, yes, a black man is going tan. This is not my natural color. I've been tanning for five weeks now, okay? So we do have to tan. <laughs>